Scooby Scapegoat is back. Episode under under the sand. We're we're looking around this property. Someone pointed out that I should take everything I see and sell it. And you know what? I was thinking along my long drive playthroughs where stuff honestly doesn't really matter much, except you know the stuff you absolutely need to you know keep going, like a little bit of oil, a little bit of water. So I never really considered bringing the extra stuff, but they're right. You can sell it all. <clears throat> so I may. Ah, I wonder if I can sell like these panels and stuff. But we're going to try to sell it <clears throat> at the next dealership guy. If I can fit it in here. Now this, this Jeep, unfortunately, is. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, a bit smaller than the original Jeep. As you can probably tell. Yeah. So I'm hoping yeah, we can at least. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay, I think we're good. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, wait a minute. I can hold it? Sweet. Well, we might as well. All right. Okay. <laughs> which. Does anybody remember which way I was. I think I'm going left here I think oh we don't got a lot of fuel either do we so fuel is of utmost importance because I can't drain my tank so hopefully we can uh, find fuel relatively quickly if not we're going to have to cancel the run we've only even gone about 40 kilometers which is not terrible but we could be doing much better. Now, I'm under the weather today. I've been very ill uh, the last few days. So if I don't sound quite right, I apologize. I'm usually pretty good at pushing through. Uh, not that I have any talent for it. I just hate being told what to do, especially by my own body, because my own body can go just F right off. But <laughs> what's that? Is, that? is that a building I can sell at? Because if that's a building I can sell at, I might be able to buy some fuel. Oh, it might be. It might be. Yes. Okay, I think that, that might be somewhere to sell. But I'm going to have to drive over there. I'm really low on fuel. Look at that. Not a low fuel. Oh, okay, oh, look out. Okay, perfect. Okay, oh, oh goodness sakes. Ugh. Okay, this might be a market. Perfect. Well, it says market. All right, let's get out. <clears throat> hey, buddy, are you here? Buddy! Ah, how's it going, bud? You don't need it? Well, I'm selling it to you anyway. So he doesn't like these things, which is fine. Okay. But you might like... This? It's got 100%... He has 180 bucks for that. Let's see, what else do I got here? Does this even... This doesn't open at all, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um... We do have beers. We are a little hungry, actually, at the moment. What's this? We're going to eat a little bit because we could probably use it. Probably, no, we don't really need a drink, but we could use some more canned beans, apparently. All right, so we do need fuel. Where does the fuel go in this piece of junk? Where's, where's the fuel? Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. Okay, how much money do I got? Five hundred fifty-five bucks. It's sixty-five dollars for ten liters of fuel. And that's not a lot of fuel, but it sure beats not having any fuel. So we're gonna stick this in this hole. Okay, I don't think we can f f like carry fuel. No. I was hoping maybe I could put... Oh, sweet. That's kind of handy. Actually, you know what would be better there? Water. <sighs> Jeez, I wish you could... Could you Can, can you combine these, I wonder? <gasps> you can. Beautiful. Get out of here. Loser. Whoa. Okay. Not going great. Let me see. This is the five. You're not going to pour it in here. There we go. 
Per now I'm going to drink. Oh, there's no water left in there. Excellent. Okay, so then we'll, can we... Oh, we can't put this one on the side? That sucks. All right, but at least we have uh, more space. We got enough food. Do we have anything else here that I want? It's 90 bucks for water. <gasps> An air filter. How much? 650 bucks? What? Will you buy beer? Because <laughs> I need... Oh my god, I need 600 bucks for that. Oh my goodness. I should really pick more than one thing up at a time, I guess. 600, how much was it? 40? Oh my, 650. I don't think I have $650 worth of anything. What about if I... Can I sell what's left of this oil? Because I need that bad. 16 bucks. Uh, what else do we got? Another beer. Oh my God, we're we're close, but we're I'm not sure we're gonna have enough money for this. Yeah. Okay, so we're not super uh, hurting for food or anything. So maybe I can get. Oh God, this is gonna be because we need it. Uh, six, how much? Six fifty. Damn it! What else can I sell? The light bar. Maybe it's worth something. Five hundred bucks. I should have just sold it right off the bat. Sweet, because we needed the air filter, right? Yes, we did. You get down there, buddy. Where's the old air filter? Look at this. This is that durability of ten. Will you buy this? Yeah, still give me 125 bucks for it. So good idea, whoever it was, to sell everything. How much are you done? This is not great. That's fine. That's actually not fine. This We do have repair kits. So how much is this? That's as good as it's going to get. All right. Now we can send stuff home, like it says, <clears throat> which is nice because... Uh, I'm just making sure there's nothing else around here. We're, we are running a little low on fuel. Wait a minute. Did I get everything closed up? I did. Thank God for the teddy bears. And that cleans out pretty much everything except our water jug. So, is there anything here else I want to buy? We got that. I think the same battery we have. Oh, we could paint it. That's 250 bucks. That doesn't seem worth it. 360 for these. 690 for a single rim. Although off-road tire would be nice. <clears throat> we don't have the money for at least two, because I'd want to do at least two if I had a choice. But we'll collect some stuff. And uh, we'll try to get after it, I guess. Uh, let's see. Uh, anything here else I can... It'd be really cool if you could fold down the window like you can on these old Jeeps. But... I think for now, if we get some off-road tires on this, it could be kind of great. Okay, so we are out of everything, but that's all right. I like the... But now we can collect a whole bunch of new stuff. And this should fold up. The fact that that doesn't fold up... What does this say? Additional lights. There we go. Yeah, we got a quarter tank of gas, so we don't got a ton, but... Sure beats what we had before. And we got a new air filter. So this is not the worst. And we got 600 bucks. We do need to find a place to sleep, though. Um, and I don't think you can just, like, sleep in the bed of the car or anything. We need an RV. <laughs> That's what we need. We need an RV to has a seep. Has a seep, seep, seep. Yeah, none of my videos are hitting well lately. People aren't watching them as much, and I'll tell you. Part of me is, uh, you know, it's kind of sad, but at the same time, it's like it's kind of a relief in a way that the uh, the big fans are still around, which is nice. Um, but yeah, like don't 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 think I'm complaining. I don't expect anybody to watch anymore. I don't know what this means. It's like wasn't that a different number before? Farmville or Route Nine? I'm gonna keep going to. Wait a minute, what's that? Is that a broken bridge? What is that? Uh, it's got my curiosity. Here we go. 
Yeah, this little Jeep's great. Although, I'll tell you, if it rains, I wish I could fold. This should fold up. I'm telling you right now. This should fold up so you can put it up or down to keep out of the weather. That's the thing about sucks about these old Jeeps. They, like, like, being out in the weather all the time sucks. Oh, crap. Okay, we're all right. We're all right. We're alive. And I got to imagine our tires are starting to wear a little bit. <clears throat> so we're going to have to look at... Uh, new tires at some point yeah that's a bridge all right Ooh. this game needs 100% more tumbleweeds as well yeah but a spot to sleep would be lovely Oh, is this a house? Oh, good. Well, we could use a stop. Anything we can find fuel at, maybe. Okay, let's see here. I guess I could have got rid of my front lights there, but they just look kind of cool. Great, just when the sun's coming up, too. Oh, couch. Ah. Can I sit on the swing? No. Oh, I can. What the heck? Boy, it's weird when games take a lot of thought into where you can sit, you know? <laughs> it's just like, you want to sit down? We got places for you to sit. Hmm, a wheelbarrow? Hello? Okay, what do we got going on here? We got a lamp, a television. I feel like somebody lived a very sad last few moments of their life. I'll bring it because we can always sell it. We should probably keep try to keep one jug of everything, right? And then everything else we can sell. One full jug of everything. Ah, what a I was going to sleep, but now it's such a beautiful day. I'd hate to waste it by sleeping through it, but not a lot going on here. We got this. And we just... Oh, there's a water barrel in here. Oh, there's pills in there. Nice. Aw. We can sell the pills, I guess. I don't know what we're going to... You can pick up the water barrel. Wait a minute. How much does that hold? That holds 40. But, like, even if I took it with me, where the heck am I going to put it? Like, it's not like it fits <laughs> anywhere. How many tires doing? 82, 74, 75, 74. Now, is it possible to repair... Uh, the air filters. No, you can't. Okay, that's cool. You know, I'm just going to pair this up to 100 because just so I don't have to carry that around. I'll throw the pills in here. Um, like I said, we could... try to fill an entire water barrel up. But, like, where exactly are we going to put the water barrel? Like, it doesn't exactly sit anywhere in the car. <laughs> like, and this is why you need the truck, I guess. Aha! All right, let's get going. We don't have time for this. We're going to try to make it to the next stop before nightfall. <sighs> yeah, if you had the pickup truck, this is not a problem. But I, I like my old Jeeps, you know. I'm a big fan of the old military Jeeps. But again, I would never drive one every day. Jeez, like, I, I, I like doors. They're protective. And they keep you dry. Unless your door seals are gone, which I've been in a few cars with bad door seals. <laughs> you ever drive in a car with a hole in the floor and it's raining and the water starts spraying up through the underneath? Yeah, that's fun. Man, good times. I've seen this bridge before. And it was a lovely bridge then. Whether or not it's a lovely bridge now, I have no idea. 
But unless I see something on it, it's not really worth stopping for. But again, fuel is more my concern at the moment. I had lots of fuel in the old Jeep. Yeah, there's nothing up there. Alright. So this game's getting a big update soon. That's why I want to start playing it again. Also, I was going to ask, you guys want a top 10 tips for the long drive? I know it's going to update sometime this year, but at the current version, would it be worth it? Because I get asked a lot like about that game, like, how do you play it and what's the thing? And I would also consider a heavily modded version playthrough of that right now, but because I'm itching to get back into it. There we go. I want to be a voice in uh, the long drive. I want to be like, blah, 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 or something. I think I could do my evil voice like, stop running. Stop running from me. I'm going to eat your soul. Oh, we got something coming up. Nice. See, this is what I like. St oh, that's just a rock. Damn it. Oof. So what happens when you blow out a tire? Like, do they just like... Oh no. Uh, is there a... Oh. Is this just a big hole in the ground again? Oh no, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna ramp hard off of this. Whoa, yeah, okay. Oh, there's a road, excellent. Okay, here we go. I was like, where's the friggin' road? There you go, I was waiting for it to shift there. You know, there's a time a couple years ago where games like this just became super popular. You got like the long drive, under the sand, like my summer car and for about four or five years there's all these weird kind of niche car games that came out and uh it seems to have stopped it's, it's really unfortunate i like these little weird niche games whoa what's that yeah they got three uh electrical poles we can afford to buy more gas too if we can find a spot oh god it's not turning turn turn there we go skibbity boppum dada yeah this is a great drive today things could be worse you know like you can always uh i played a lot enough of these type of games where like you blow a tire you lose the stuff you're doing heavy metal music flying through the air. Yeah, it's a whole thing. And sometimes it's nice to have a calm drive. Is that a rock? I guess that's just a rock. Oh, looks like we got something maybe coming up here. Got a bunch of electrical lines. That might be a building. Oh, wait a minute. This is a transition point. Good stuff. There's never anything here, but at least we can get onto a new map. Okay. I don't know why it looks like this was so well defended, and then there's no other than one guard tower and one gate place. There's never anything here. Like nothing. You can also paint the gas filler flap and the wheel rims. Oh, that's kind of nice. Ooh, a diner. I like to go to a diner. Press space for control drift in a Jeep and fall out. Oh, there's a seat belts in this thing. Ah, yes. Here we go. I mean, dude is getting real tired, so... Oh, good, we're back on, like, paved road. Who 
What is this? A bridge? What is this? This looks like a bridge. Well, this is really new. Wait a minute. I don't remember seeing this before. Is there anything underneath this? Not that I see. Whoa. Ah. Come on, little Jeep. There we go. All right, we need fuel badly. <clears throat> but not as bad as we needed it before. The arrow lights the way. Yeah, so this game apparently takes place in the 80s. After some cataclysmic event. Seems like another very common theme. A lot of bridges in this area. Clunk, clunk. I like that. It sounds like you're driving on a gravel road. I used to live out in the country here and... Uh, Gravel roads are pretty normal. And every once in a while, a rock flips up and hits the undercarriage of the car and it makes a tink. Depending on the car. <clears throat> oh, what do we got here? Oh, a junkyard. Is this a junkyard? This might be, this is a motel. Well, close enough to a junkyard. All right, let me see. This actually might be a good place to have a nap. There's a pool here. That's good to know. I like pools. I love to swim. Uh, swimming's great exercise. Easy on the joints. Ugh. Now, if only you could get one of these buses working. Now, the pool's dead. There better be something here, like, to eat or something. I'm, I'm starting to get a little, I feel a little peckish. First floor, what do you got? Nothing. Whatever happened here sucked, and I always feel, you know, it's weird when you, like, certain games do a good job of, like, telling a story in the environment. Does that make sense? Oh, 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 there's a dummy in there in a suitcase. How do we get in here? Through the window, maybe? We'll try that. And this game isn't too bad at that. Like, you get little environmental story things. Like, here's, here's a motel. Obviously, people were staying here. And it's kind of... Uh... Ow! It's kind of sad. Nothing. I was hoping there'd be some. Oh, he got this all blocked up here. Now. Oh, what do we like here? Like something happened here. What was it? Somebody was taking. Oh, soda, soda pop. Drinking sodas for my life. Oh my god, this is great. I gotta go put these in the car. The, um... Yeah, something was going on there. And what? I don't know. But it, it tells like a... It lets you kind of invent a bit of a story. And I think that's fun in a game where you get to kind of... Uh, you know who's good at that too is Bethesda was always good at environmental storytelling. The original Fallout games are good at environmental storytelling where you, you walk into a scene and you know something's happened and you can kind of figure it out on your own. Yeah, that's always good. Like, what was everybody's deal? Why is there so much soda here? Hmm. Why is there fridges full of nothing? Why is there triple sinks? Laundry was in the middle of laundrying. Yeah, it's just kind of sad. Oh, wait a minute. Is there any beds around here? I don't remember, like, I need a mattress. Because I am really flipping tired.
Is that is that bed all right? No. None of the beds are usable. That sucks. Like I can sit here, but I can't. I can't sleep here. That penguin is ruined. It's ruined. Like here, this is a good environmental storytelling. It's obviously, where children were here, right? Why else would you have a children's basketball net? It's just all very interesting to me the way. When somebody was building this asset, whoever it was, they were telling a bit of a story. What is that? It's an energy drink. Wait a minute. That might wake me up. There we go. Okay. That's empty. So now I'm a little more awake. Okay. I keep thinking I can just take off like the long drive. All right. Here we go. You know what game uh, two would be like Pacific Drive? I played that earlier this year. Um, that game as a long-term road trip game would have been sweet. I would lose the paranormal stuff. Not that I didn't love it for that game. I really enjoyed that game a lot. Uh, but lose the paranormal stuff and just make it a road trip game, where every once in a while, like you blow a tire or something, you got to fix it, and collect parts. And I think it, I think the, the idea of a road trip game is really awesome. You do, it'd be really cool if you could do like a massively multiplayer road trip game, and everybody has like you know you get a car and you go off and like people can hitchhike, you can pick them up. <laughs> that would be fun. I know it's like pointless because there's no point to it, but like someone the other day when I I posted the video for this, they said, I don't understand the point of this. Like, what's the point? I'm like, I don't, I'm not sure there is one. Like, there's not really a point to any of it, really. Like, there's not a real point to the long dr drive. What the heck? Should we go check down the railroad tracks? Hmm. I might, actually. But I need fuel before I can do that. Now, will you buy this giant barrel of water? You don't need it. Great, thanks. I'm gonna buy your fuel though. Thanks. Perfect. How are we doing for motor oil and whatnot? 4.2. What about water? 5.9. We had motor oil, but we we sold it to this loser. We do have a lot of soda pop right now. I don't see anything here really worth grabbing. Maybe the mortar oil. How much is that? 45 bucks? All right. We'll take it. We'll put it in. We'll put the rest on the back of the truck. All right. Um, there's never much going on here, but... Hey, buddy. What's going on? What, what do, you, do you have anything for me? You want to tell me some things? Nice cash register. Nice tires. You want to sell me a tire? Screw you. I don't like it anymore. All right. On our way. Let's see. I just want to take a little detour down the railroad tracks. I can't let it go. One way looks like it just ends. This way looks like it just kind of ends over here. But the other way wraps off into nothingness. Wait a minute. So I think I might just, because it wraps around that hill. That's a curious thing to me. Nah, it just ends over here, too. But I am glad I checked it out. All right, so we're going back this way. Whoa! Cacti. Careful to steal your gas, man. But I think the adventures of Loggington and uh, Coily need to get back at it. Ugh. I'm just not sure anybody. I think everybody's kind of over uh, the long drive right now. Ugh. And shift. There you go.
this is. I feel like the engine isn't running as well as it used to. I feel like I was looking. Maybe the other Jeep is just a bit faster. I don't know. That's all right, though. Ah, looks like we got a road sign here. Well, this time we're headed towards Farmville, because... We also can use some food. I should have bought food back there. Those numbers on the sign change. I've noticed that. They are slightly different. Not seeing much out here. Starting to get tired again. See, we're always under some sort of struggle, I can tell you that much. 18 liters of fuel. That's not bad. It could be a whole lot worse. Let's put it that way. We could be, like, sometimes in the long drive, a few times I had to, like, coast. I want to do the long drive and just walk the whole distance. <laughs> I think that would be great. Because you'd be making some serious choices at that point. Because you couldn't carry anything with you, like food or water or anything. It would be cool too is the uh, the moped. Do the whole distance on the moped. Or the Vespa or whatever it is. Well, I'll tell you, one thing with car guys is you, just, you say something wrong and they just like, oh my god, no, it's this. It's like, who cares? <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Ooh, a bar. Ooh, I wonder if there's anybody here. Oh, is it going to be an empty bar? Hey, let me out. Thank you. Oh, I see a wheel. It's kind of nice, actually. We might want to take that with us. Oh. Oh, geez. I was like, how do you get out of here? <laughs> okay. I mean, I was a little worried there for a moment. Oh, we got more drink. Man, more drink. Why do we have so many drinks kicking around? Energy drink. You know, I'll take that. Oh, food. Nice. Is this another energy drink? Yeah, drink it, man. That's one I just drank. Nothing. No wheels on these things or anything? No. Up on the roof. Ooh, now here we go. Oh, look at this, a stash. We're tripping the light fantastic up here, boys. All right, let me see. I hope somebody didn't really need that back anytime soon. <laughs> All right, should we keep this wheel maybe? Maybe we should start keeping them. There we go. What game I'd like to play again too is Moore's Longa. Oh, this room isn't in great shape. But it sure looks nicer. Ah, well, you know what? My rooms don't take a lot of damage because if you look at them, it's still at 100%. And those are like my original rims, so. Okay, dude, look. Okay, maybe the Jeep without the... The door on the back was not a great idea. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to see that. And there's not a lot of storage space in the Jeep, so maybe we find a truck. 
like a truck truck will swap up, but... Look, look at this. It got... Now it's bumping up and down. Is that because they have two different rims on it? You think? What I need to do is start buying rims. Is what I need to buy rims and tires. Is what I need to do. But I'd like to have all the money in that three hundred sixty dollars a tire. That's what three sixty seven twenty fourteen forty for just the rubber. Like that's a lot of money, a friend. Considering I have five hundred bucks to my name. Although all in all, we're not doing terrible. Like uh, we're we're surviving quite easily at the moment. But this bouncing up and down business might be because I have a, a bum rim. I, I don't know. So maybe we'll sell it and go back to our regular rim until we can afford a new a new rim. I, I don't know how it works. Rims are easy because they, they don't wear out, right? So like with tires, if I buy one, it'll wear out faster than the other tires around it. I like to buy at least two at a time. Moore's Longa was cool. That's a, a mod for um, teardown. And uh, they were really doing a heck of a job with that one. It was pretty rough when I played it, but the, the, the concept was good. I love voxel stuff because it's so destructive. I know it can look a little bit old school, but... Like, love it or hate it, the fact of... The, what you can do in something like Minecraft is unbelievable. And the fact that that technology's come so far is just great. Hey, military camp, what's up, buddy? You might have some fuel. Excuse me, coming through. Look out. Oh, another wheel. And stop. Okay. Mail, please. Look at this. This is similar to the ones I have, isn't it? Not as durable, though. There we go. Let's check out these other cars for... Oh, is this, is this an off-road tire? It is an off-road tire. What is that? But again, with only one off-road tire, that's not a great that's not a great catch, man. What are you? Money, 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 money. Money. I don't really need that, so I'll get rid of that. Is that a fuel barrel? No gas. That sucks. I'm starting to think they're just for storage of extra stuff. Boy, sometimes there's just not a lot at these places, eh? And we got a wheel. Got a little food here. A little more food. There's a motorbike all right there. Oh man, I'd love to drive this. Look at this. It's like a It's like a motorcycle with a with a pickup truck on the bed, bed on the back. I could sleep here, but yeah. Can I still drive like this? Oh, no. We can't drive like this. Let me hop out of here. Yeah. Oh, no. Ta-da. Stay there, please. Hop in. Lockdown. And off we go into the wild blue yonder. What happened there? It steered the wrong way. Oh, we need lights. The extra lights don't seem to make that much of a difference. See? Ooh, what? What sort of uh, monstrosity is this? And we haven't checked our uh, air filter in a while, which we probably should. This is interesting. Why is this here like this? Oh, there's something coming up here. Now, what is up there? 
that it's being oh okay, yeah let's take a you know what I can't let it go up 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 There's like a fence here, but for what reason is there a fence here? Yeah, it's just a... Just a fun fence. Well, we're going through this tunnel now. Let's see what's on the other side of this. Whoa! Jeez and crackers! Every time we get fuel, we just use it up. But we're getting enough to keep going, so that's kind of nice. But make me a game where even if it's procedurally generated where it's like driving west coast to east coast of the united states or vice versa you know east coast to west coast whatever it is for some reason when there's an apocalypse going on make it zombies make it aliens i don't care and it's just surviving on the road and i want bad guys but i don't want them to be absolutely constant you know what i mean i want it to be like it's a rare occurrence, but that does exist, and you got to be careful uh, to not get killed or caught. Okay. Oh, God. Stop. Oof. Don't forget to feed the cat. I gotta feed the cat? Oh man, I left that poor cat alone. <laughs> so you can go back with your stuff. And the further you travel, the better items you will find. Well, we've traveled quite far so far. And we are finding better stuff, but it's not the quality of it's not great. We're in a dirt road area again. Yeah, this type of game I can play all day. I don't mind not having an antagonist. The environment is your antagonist, right? But you know what? In these games, they rarely have for some reason is like weather. Like, why isn't there thunderstorms or uh, snow or just light rain sometimes? That was the one thing that... Oh, God. That's a rock. Oops, I went way off the road. Minecraft did well as the environment. The only thing that sucked about Minecraft that I did not like was that there was no environmental sounds. Like, you didn't hear, like... Did I did I miss the road or something? This is the road, right? There's no, like, birds chirping and stuff, which I thought there always should be. But, like, the fact that, like, a thunderstorm could whip up on you, like, that's kind of cool. Hey, I was here just a while ago. Well, not this one in particular, but... Oh, no, I wasn't here. Hmm. 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 An engine from 550. What's my... No thanks, guy. All right, let me see. Oh, tools. Oh, you know what? We might be able to... So what do I have, then? If this is a Vroom 550, what's what do I have in my car? A Vroom 421. Okay, well, it can come out, then. And this can go in. We're going to need oil. Oops. God, is there a way to, like... Damn it. But I have oil in the back here. So, we can put that in there. 
Not as much oil as I would have liked, but it'll do. That can go there. And we'll save this to sell. Hopefully. There we go. Stay there, please. Alrighty. Let's see what's in the pooper. Not a whole lot. Backyard. Eh, not a lot going on here, but... I don't want to go into the basement, so we're not doing that. Yeah, we'll go in the basement. Hey, look, a road tire. Or is it a rogue tire? Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Not a funny joke. How are we going to fit all this crap in here? Do I have a light? I'm not sure if I have a flashlight. Okay, what's in here? Oh, no. A beer. A med kit. More mannequins. That's creepy, man. Toolkit. If I had a flare, that'd be nice. A bicycle. Yeah, I don't like it down here. It's very dark and very creepy. Well, let's uh, fix up the engine again because make it full durability because we can. And then... Air filter's doing all right. That can go in there. That can go in the passenger seat. This tire, eh. I'm hoping I can get it in, but no guarantees. Oh, there we go. Get in quick. Crap. It's a lot of freaking birds. All right, we're on our way now. Maybe this engine will be faster. Okay. Oh, okay, I thought that was slower. Oh, yeah, it's faster. It is definitely faster. Ow. Oh, a Jeep doesn't need this much power, man. Holy crap, it's a lot faster. It's like 25 kilometers an hour faster. My goodness. Wow, we're getting somewhere now. <laughs> At the speed of lightning. There once was a legend of a really fast goat. He was driving around like a really bad guy. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Why is it so fast? Yes. Faster. Horsepower, I tell you. Okay, here we go. Actually, this scenario, you'd probably want the most efficient engine you could get. I'd rather drive 60 kilometers an hour everywhere in triple or quadruple my gas mileage than... 120. So you gotta run from bandits, I guess. And that's when you just carry a really big gun. Alright, let's see. Hey, look what it is. Look who it is. It's the boss. It is the I'm gonna sell all this crap to you guy. Hey, buddy. What's going on, buddy? Boy, do I have a deal of a lifetime for you. Lots of random crap, including double tires and a crappy rim. Here you go. Bam, bam, and bam. There you go. Oh, thousand bucks. I got it, baby. Okay, let's see. Now, I have this, this crappy rim, but it doesn't seem to be damaging anytime soon. Tires are getting a bit warm, but we have this wheel as well. Here you go. And we got a whole engine for you. What do you want for this? Oh my goodness, it's $2,200! Okay. You I don't need. I don't know why I brought you here. Just take this. What? Even empty I can get money for him? What? That's a revelation. All right. Let's do it. All right, let's see. Uh, Wait a minute. Now, I guess there's only two tires here, so let's... put that on we'll do this tire and this tire all right put i'm assuming i'm running this thing mostly in rear wheel drive so now before we do this i want to buy you and buy you make sure it actually goes on these wheels because you know it's sometimes in games like this i get mistaken oh it's looking mint now 
Here you go, bud. I appreciate you, and I'm going to buy this petrol. Thank you. That's going in my petrol hole. There we go, and then they can toss. Do you want this back? No, oh, you can have it back. What are you? Oh, you're only UTS2. <laughs> Boy, we're making bank now, man. Um, We did need some water for this. Didn't we? We needed, like, what, four liters of water? And then we have two if I drink some of that. That's only one left. So, oops, we'll throw that in there. Close you up. Close you up. That engine's great. Okay, we got a couple of uh, off-road tires now. Um... Uh, what was I doing? I was doing something. Maybe a little food, maybe? I'm gonna eat this. Pineapple chunks. Thanks here, buddy. Um... I was going to do something. Mortar oil's fine. Oh, no, we used up all our mortar oil. We're going to grab some of that. Just to toss on the back here like this. And I think we may end it here. But it's looking mint with those tires on there. Are we good here? I think we're good here. Uh, I wish it was daytime, kind of. Let's drive to one more stop, and then we'll hopefully it's daytime by then. Okay, let me see here. Wait a minute. This is only one liter of water. Do I want to get another water? Nah. You know, I never have used for health kits. I should probably think about selling those at some point. I like how it hovers at 80. Just trying to get into the next gear, and then suddenly it's like clunk, clunk next gear. <laughs> there we go. I'm not sure what those off-road tires will do for grip. Uh, or if they do anything for grip. So like now it's saying Farmville's 35 kilometers that way. Well, we're going to Farmville. I just want it to become daytime, to be honest. Like, this just looks so cool. Like, I don't know what the dude's next game's going to be, if he even has one. But whatever it is, it should be another driving game. He's got a real thing going here, environmentally, that, like, it, the, the, the feeling of speed is nice, but the controls are easy, so you're not fighting it constantly. Oh, God. Like, any, you can drive with a keyboard really easily. You don't need to worry about a steering wheel. I don't know. I think the guy's got a real knack for whatever this is. And I think that uh, he should continue looking into this genre. Maybe I'm selfish. Is that a fence or a road? That's a road. This would be a good place to set up shop. Look at this. Not a junkyard, but a container shipping yard, maybe. Is this what this is? Well, would you look at this? This is very similar to this wheel, except... Well, not quite, but it's a rim I can sell. Or toss on it if I feel like it. Oh, no, I can't grab that. I was hoping I could grab that. Oh, we got a tire here, too. Now, this is a 43 road tire, but none of these are that bad. So, you know, I'm going to put this on the rim, and that way it's easy to move around. Anything in here? Anything up? Oh, there might be something up there. Let's take a look. I don't see anything. Kind of want to go up the crane, man. Looks like somebody, a couple people may have set up shop here. Uh, tools. Mm. Another oil barrel. 
See, what I think the oil barrels are for is you send those home full of stuff. And that way, if you ever go back... Can I get up there? I kind of want to get up there. There's a mannequin up there. Oh, there's birds. I got attacked by a bird once, several times. Y'all don't have any clue what it's like being around Canadian geese when they're upset. I don't see anything else here. Unless there's a way to control the crane, I don't see a way up it either. There's no ladder that I can see. Here's what I know. Somebody spent a lot of time setting up this place and then just abandoned it. Let's see here. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, next stop, we're done. But it's been a good run today. Like, we got quite far. We got nearly half a tank of fuel. I'm relying very much, though, on buying fuel. I haven't found any in a very long time. Ooh, that was smooth. Oh, this, this uh, splits off here. Why? Well, we're doing it. <laughs> yeah, I always look around because I'm always a, like, you just know in games like this, they're hiding stuff out in the middle of nowhere. Because it'd be so easy, right? Like, you can easily hide something out there. Who's going to know? Unless somebody goes looking for it. I think it's starting to turn daytime. See a little pink hue in the sky. It's pinkish hue. Boy, that one tire is just wobbling away up there. Look at that. Excellent. I wish she could scroll the wheel to zoom in and out a little bit, but not necessary, I guess. That one tire is just, look at that front tire, though. Look, that one's wobbling. That one, why, why are some of the wheels wobbling? Are they damaged? Maybe if it's under like 50%, it wobbles. Oh, here, we're going to do a jump. <laughs> My dude looks so calm. Well, here we go. Excellent. Okay. Whoa, down a hole. Down in a hole. Okay. Who sings that? Brum. Ooh, that was just about off the ground. This might get some air. Just a little bit. <laughs> you catch an air in third person, looks cool as heck. Heck, I tell you, heck. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, this is awesome. It looks like something might be coming up. Maybe that's just a tree. Oh, the road's washed out here. I 
What is that? Oh, those are power lines, I think. Sweet. Yeah, those wobbly tires, I'd like to know the reason why they're wobbly. How cool do I look, though? Seriously. I always got to get a good screenshot for books so she can use it for the thumbnail. <laughs> it's kind of hard. Okay, there we go. And there we go. We just need to find a new spot to stop. Dude's getting tired again. Sun's not quite up, but it's getting close. This is new. Oh, here we go. What's this? Military base. Didn't this stop at this last time? I'll take a quick peruse and we'll end the end the, end the level here. Or end the, the video. is Whatever this is. I don't know. I'm not even a good YouTuber, for Christ's sakes. All right, let me see. Turn you off. Let's go take a look around. Yes. It was a good adventure today. Oh, look. Food. Yum. I like a good adventure. There's a Jeep. Look. Jeep hood. That's like mine. We got water here. We need some water right now. Oh, okay. We just drank the water. Perfect. Anything in here? No, I don't see anything in there. Oh, we got fuel. Oh, we got a flare. Flare, flare. Actually, we'll take those. They're sellable. I want to drive one of these. Big five-ton truck. Bam, 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 bam. Nothing up here. Anything in this helicopter? Uh, I don't see anything. Black Hawk down, baby. Nothing here. This barrel has no fuel in it. I like how you can tell just by looking at it. Yeah, no Jeep here, but that's okay. I'm looking to trade up eventually. Anyway. Yeah. Why did that go in? Okay, well, whatever. There we go. And then I'll put this one back in because they can be sold, I imagine. But yes, but I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get a cool shot for books. Uh, if you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Maybe get your dog to subscribe. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get, scapegoat. We now have off-road tires, but we got to figure out why they're wobbly. Like, it even looks like they're off-kilter. It's got to be the rims, right? they're under yeah I've damaged the rims from jumping we're gonna need to get new rims 100% and be careful of the jumping out out